So we are going to play Wolfenstein The New Order. I've not played this before, uh, but tons of people have suggested this to me. And, like, it's a first-person shooter, but apparently the story is, like, surprisingly good. So that's going to be really where I'm putting the focus. Uh, but it's going to be, like, a fun action game, too. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much, British Wolf. Very fitting name for the game we're playing. I appreciate the, uh, the new sub. Um, but yeah, people are like really into Wolfenstein and I'm kind of excited to see why. Um, when you think first person shooter, you, you, you don't immediately think like, oh, that's going to be super engaging. You think obviously Call of Duty, you think nine, nine, Battlefield. Nine, 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 nine. <laughs> Thank you, Falstro. Appreciate that. <laughs> I've got some, uh, I've got some notification sounds stolen from Inglorious Bastards. I think it'll be fun. Best noise. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to stream for a couple of hours, and then I'm going to get on a plane, and we're going to go to Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Nobody probably knows where that is. But uh, my mom is getting married tomorrow, and I'm pretty excited. I'm happy for her. It'll be good to see the family, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited. <sighs> okay. Okay, so for people that are new to the stream, uh, welcome. This is, uh, if this is your first time, then great. Um, I'm glad to have you guys. Only a couple of things uh, before we get started. Um, no, try not to spoil anything. Um, don't, don't say anything about like the story or like what's going to happen. Um, be nice to everybody. And I think that's about it. Just be cool. Everyone's just going to be cool. <laughs> Ivan says, the donation sound is so good, I rate it 9 out of 10. 9 and any, that's pretty good. You guys get it. All right. Um, first time I've ever seen a nice chat about a mother online. Well, you know, the interesting thing is uh, mom shows up in the chat pretty regularly. And I actually wouldn't be surprised if she's here. I say that, but she's probably not here right now because it's pretty early there. Uh, no, she's not here right now. But... Um, yeah, she shows up in the chat pretty regularly. People know who she are. Who she are? People know who she are. <laughs> okay, let's get going, guys. Uh, I'm going to jump right in. It's probably going to be, like, a lot going on. And I'm going to really try to focus on, like, the story and who we are and what we're doing and why we're doing it. That's the biggest thing. <sighs> are you guys ready? Ali Pops is ready. I think we're going to go. So we're going to do a new game. Uh, let me know if I need to adjust any volumes or anything like that. I feel like... I might up this just a tiddlywink. Um, in terms of other options, I've got these toggles. I turn these all off because I don't, I don't like that. I, I just want to be in maximum control. Uh, everything else I think it'll like teach me as we go. And... In terms of... Oh, you know what? We gotta be we gotta be bumping these up. What's going on here? We were on medium. That's not that's not happening. Okay. This is an early stream, Tailtop. It's 10:30 a.m. But you know what? I like early streams the best. I feel like the morning streams. This is the best time to stream ever. Like I love that because I feel like I have the most energy and I'm like ready to go. Even though I slept for like six hours last night. Guys, not to go off on a too big of a tangent here, okay? <laughs> but, like, I had a super productive morning. I went to bed super late. It was, like, 1.30. Didn't fall asleep till like, 2.30. Uh, maybe, yeah, probably close to 2.30. I got up at 9. I showered. I went to pick up medication for Dexter. I went to fill my car with gas. I went to wash my car. And, and, I went to get my McCafe. All of that. It this morning, and now I'm here. Okay. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we've got uh, five different difficulties. Uh, can I play, Daddy? That's probably where I should be at. Don't hurt me. Mm, a little embarrassed to pick that. Bring it on is like probably what I should pick. 
I am Death Incarnate. I would say that I'm an experienced gamer, but I don't know if that's going to kick my ass. Uber, probably not, because I, you know, just de dying over and over. I think Death Incarnate, though, is probably the one, you know? I think we could do I am Death Incarnate. What do you guys think? I'm open, I'm open to suggestions from people that have played the game. <laughs> Vinny, I like, I like Uber the, I like Uber the company. Yeah, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna do, uh, Uber, just because if you get into a situation where you're just, like, dying over and over and over and over, that's, like, not, that's not fun. But I like, I like challenge because it makes things more tense and everything kind of matters. I'm just doing death incarnate. Okay, here we go. I'm focusing now. In my dream, I smell the barbecue. I hear children. A dog. And I see someone. I think I see someone. These things, none of it for me. I'm moved by roaring engines. I love warriors. We come from the night. We come from the night. Baltic Sea near the east coast of Germany, 1946. Hey, Jeez. Hey, hey, Moskowitz, go back into the flight deck. Clamp the fuel line to engine six, quickly! Okay, we got engine problems. Uh, clamp the fuel line. Let's go, let's go. Find the tools in the tool cabinet. You'll need pliers and some bailing wire. We need tools, we need tools. The tool cabinet is by the cockpit door. Hello. Yeah, I think I got- Whoa! This is gonna be hectic, I can feel it! Cracking job, Captain. But I'm losing altitude. Need to drop weight, or we will be ditching hard like. Head for the cargo bay, and check us on everything we've got out the cargo door. Dump the cargo. Okay, this so Fergus Reed is the guy talking to us. We have a journal. Contains important notes about your current objectives. Makes a lot of sense. Uh... Dump the cargo. Need to run back to the ass end of the plane and lose some weight. Hold fast! I'm cranking up the cargo hub! Hello! Right! Now cut the crates loose, Blasco! Jesus! This is gonna be intense! Holy moly. Grand, grand. What's up, Prisinger? Just because we played so much Evil Within, I feel like we should be smashing these boxes open right now. And I need a flash. Whoa! Shit. Okay. Right, <laughs> this flock is coming from Deathset's compound. Lose compound? Jeez. You want me on the turret? I don't know if you want me on the turret. We're on the turret. We're on the turret. I'm just shooting anything and everything. I think that's us. I think that's also us. Holy. I can't even see them. Are you kidding me? This is freaking wild. Never seen 
fight at planes like these. Stay ahead! It's coming right at us! Shoot! Shoot! Right in front of us, Blasco! Oh yeah! Ah, Go! Okay. Test well. the gates again. That oh, happened. Can't reach you today. I have a war to win. <laughs> You're still breathing, you dumb bastard. Uh, it's tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Mayday! Vulture one, coming, Vulture one. Med pack free Blasco, use it. I like it. This is cool. This is like we're not dicking around. You're crowding me. He's off. Negative Vulture one. We've got a serious case of bad bush. You need to shuffle out of formation, and you need to make room. What's up, Mithrandu? Affirmative, Randall. Blasco, retire the radar. Pull the handle up there by those flashing lights. Jesus, this is crazy. Much obliged, Captain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to happen. I see smoke. Uh, I see solution coming off your rudders. Your freeze ailerons are done. Yeah, this thing handles like a concrete fridge. <laughs> Thanks for asking for the... Ah! Oh. Come in, Condor 9. That's a troop transport. Condor 9, come in, come in, Condor 9. This is Condor 9. Who's this? Private Wyatt, I'm not there All right, bad boy. Listen up, play close attention. Now, you see the pilot's wheel? <laughs> yes, sir! Right. I want you to grab it as hard as you can with both hands and pull it towards you. Now, don't turn it, mind you. You keep it level, just pull it towards your chest. Okay, sir! Whoa. Look at that! He, like, skimmed, basically. Okay, Private Wyatt, I need you to do one more thing for me. Don't panic. Sir! Have a man ready by the side door. You are getting visitors. What? Roger that, sir! Blazkowicz, get the cockpit door open. <laughs> what? You have to hold it open, then follow my lead. I'm gonna open, okay. Did not expect to be doing this. Uh Whoa! <laughs> what? Run for it. Press space and jump. Okay, I'm going for it. Whoa! Well, that ain't good. Did we die? <laughs> what the hell happened? Oh, I see. We didn't go far. <laughs> All right. Wow. Rip. That's the first and last death we'll ever have. What's the score, Cat? Do or die, son. Same as always. Hoorah, sir. I'm pilot 10, shrapnel of the leg, and I'm bleeding out. 71 souls in the hold. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. That's, like, in insane. That that just happened. Somebody's panicking somewhere. Whoa. Oh, thank God you're here! Oh, God. Get up your ass! Oh, Jesus! Vultures oh, 1, 3, 4, 8, oh, 9 are down. Oh, 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 if you don't stop this head down, Fergus, that window is closed forever. We will lose this war. I got an idea. Look, I've got to go. That's head's compound's coming up. Or is it coming out? Head. Got a nine out. Grab your ball back, Blasco. 
Reach for impact. We're coming down hard. Whoa. Whoa. Fuck all. Hold on. That is... This is... Hello. It's the break of dawn. July 16, 1946. Everything has gone to shit. The Nazi war machine is advancing at an astonishing rate. We can't catch up. Tactics are failing. Outclassed and outgunned. No one knows why. People are getting desperate. Not me. I'm here to see an old friend and settle a score. Turn this thing around. Oh yeah. Oh, I recognize that thing. Okay, Fergus is still alive, so that wasn't him. Okay, wait, okay. Can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Can I reply? Oh, here. Fergus, what's your status? Top uh, Lovegood. We've got a skip in the front window here. Top inside an aircraft drone. Some next. kind of armored helicopter trying to fucking eat it. Boom. No joke. This is uh, a boom. Shacked up inside dead wreckage. Thanks, <laughs> undead pandas. Appreciate it, dude. And thank you, Lee Steve. Wait, turn off the light, turn it off. Yes, sir. I see you. What can I do for you? Turn off the light, can't so. Get to the Not that they fucking trapped in here. But if you got access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small arms sure don't work on bug at all. Yeah, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be all right. Good plan, Fergus. Coming to you. Just keep your head below the surface. You should be fine. You kidding me? Oh, hello. So we've got uh, two different types of attacks with the knife. It's weird. Jesus. Okay. How am I supposed to do both of these at the same time? That's really awkward. A beast built by death's head. Should have killed that man long ago. <laughs> Akasama saying, I think I never saw you playing when it's not dark or the light's out. That's true. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? Because that feels really awkward. I'm going to switch... Uh, I'm going to switch crouch to C. Wait, what is C bound to? Toggle left mode, toggle right mode. What the hell? I'll put toggle right mode on control for now, and then if we learn what that is, we'll figure that out. Normally I would say control is fine, but if we have to use shift and control at the same time, it's super awkward. Holy. How long can we hold our breath for here? Jesus. Apparently quite a while. That's crazy. Kill the mechanical beasts. Yeah, okay. Yes. This is so therapeutic right now. This is so therapeutic.
Jeez. Captain Blasco, it's sir! Calm down, you wee shook. Blasco, you want to hear my plan for how we traverse this glamorous beast front without being fair to front it? Yes. All right. Listen up. Thank you guys for coming by, by the way. I appreciate it. This is like really intense. a unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the nest out. Just run as fast as you possibly bloody can straight up the middle. Are you serious? Lay down cover fire from here. Got it. I'll put this on. I'll radio updates from our position. Right, lads. You ready to lay down suppressor fire? I feel like this is not the ideal plan. But I'm gonna do what he said and just go for it. <laughs> Holy moly. Wait, where the hell? Oh, here we go. Alright, then. Then disable the machine gun dust. Hand grenade, hello. Standard stick grenade used by German army, useful for taking out multiple enemies, creating diversions, and destroying machine gun nests. Remember to stay out of the grenade's blast range. Why are we on like extra health right now? Okay. Uh now I'm now it feels awkward with the um with the crouch like that. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe what I should do. Let's try this. Uh, let's go to toggle. Turn this back on. That might be better. Yeah, I can get behind that. Well, left alt and S to lean down. Never gonna remember that. Killed him. Oh, never mind. I was kind of thinking like... Seems like that was a little bit easy to kill that guy. Yes. This is like so totally what I needed right now. Hex to toggle dual wielding. <laughs> All right, is that right? We don't have a lot of bullets. tell if he's dead or not. I think we're up to like 15 helmets that we're wearing right now. I think we're killing Nazis. Shh. 
shit! Oh, we got maps. Hello. Okay, okay. Does it tell us what these things are? No. What's up, Colix? It's going well so far. We're doing things. We're making progress. Okay, so... Okay. I don't know, like... I don't know how linear this is going to be. I don't know if we should be... I don't know if we should be checking all these side paths, but I want to. So like, okay, so we're gonna wanna run along there, I guess, but let's check back here. Cause this looks like it leads up into like another path. Whoa. Look at this freaking thing. Actually can't. Okay. Whoa, shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. That's actually insane. It's just like... Oh, hello. Overcharge, is that what that said? Probably heard we ain't in the prison. We in the killing Nazi. Cousin, business is a boom. Business is a boom. Lufamy, thank you very much, dude. Oh, shit! Okay, we gotta get quicker on that front. If this thing sees us, we are screwed. Okay, so this probably... Oh, I see. Okay, so if we had gone the other way... If we had run down this way, we would have been blocked. Each and every man under my command owes me 100. Nazi scalps. And I, and I want, want my, my scalps. scalps. Cornwell, thank you very much, dude. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Whoa! There's chuck grenades at me. Are you kidding? What is that about? Okay, this is a problem. Oh, shh. We're in trouble. We are in big trouble. One health. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> I like to just... I just like to test the limits. No. See green lights. That's got to be good. I was going to see if there's anything up here. No. Let's get out of here. Oh, nice. 
Okay. When in melee range of an enemy, you can perform a takedown to kill them quickly. Sneaking up behind enemies allows you to perform silent takedowns, taking out targets while remaining undetected. Press mouse 3 when close to an enemy to perform a takedown. Press mouse 3 when sneaking up behind one to perform a silent takedown. <laughs> this is like, okay. I'm actually, this is pretty cool. This game could definitely be done in a pacifist run, don't you think? Yeah, totally. I think that would be super fitting. And sleep. Oh, that's so good. I'm so happy that that's a thing. You know, the most important thing with those is like how it feels, and that feels pretty good. What's with this? Like, why do we over, like, why why do we go over 100% health? Is that just like we have a temporary boost when we find extra food and stuff? I guess so. Sarah, you can tell I like this game. How can you tell? Sleep. Oh, those are so good. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Take out commanders. Commanders can radio for reinforcements. If you manage to take out all area commanders without being detected, they'll not be oh, able to set off the alarm. The prisoner taking business. We in the killing Nazi business. Cousin business this is, is a boom. boom. Thank you very much, Timmy Yak. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you. Um... Okay, so if we manage to take out the area commanders without being detected, then they're not going to be able to set off the alarm and call for backup. If you're moving guns blazing, kill the commanders quickly before they have time to use the radio. Commanders will continue to call for backup until they are dead. Okay. That seems important. Signal detected. I see a commander, and he doesn't see me, and sleep. Oh, this is so satisfying. Go. Unlocked a perk, knife throwing. Okay. I don't know if I want to be throwing it. Oh, this is like, this is the preferred way to kill Nazis, for sure. There's just like, there's stuff everywhere. Seemingly unlimited amounts of stuff. And sleep. We just took over that whole camp. And they had no idea what was happening. Feels good. Am I going to do XCOM 2 Long War 2? No. Uh, the Long War stuff's too long just for the sake of being long. Okay, what am I... What are we doing in here? Find a way into the bunker. Oh, you know what? I think we just need to keep going this way. Yeah, Jaxer, I totally agree. It's just like... Too... It's not fun when it's just drawn out for the sake of being drawn out.
Okay, this is going to be tricky because we got... Hmm. Oh! Hello. So this signal, I think, is how close we are to the to the uh, commander in his like radio signal. Oh, so good. Ooh. Oh, and then. <laughs> are you kidding? Are you kidding? This is like. Holy. This is actually pretty wild. I did not expect it to be like this intense right off the bat. I think we're maxed out on like everything, so. Got dynamite. Can always use more helmets. I'm doing good, Ascending Cringe. I'm doing good. Thank you so much. I'm actually having a really good time with this. Way, like, immediately way better than I anticipated. And this is, like, just the gameplay so far. Just, and, like, people are saying the story is really good, too. So I'm, like, I'm pretty excited. Let's see where this goes. This is where I want to be. I've got the dynamo. Oh, I know. I know where we need to go. At. How about the giant bunker door? How about that? <laughs> you guys were all like, blow up the big door. Yeah, thanks. Uh. Hey, okay, what other weapons do we have here? Cannons are perched on the upper levels of the cliffside bunker. You have to put them out of commission. We have people in the air and those cannons are blasting us out of the sky. Disable the cannons. I think I'm gonna go back to like our assault rifle for now. Enigma code. What is this? Collect Enigma code pieces to complete Enigma code puzzles within the extra section. A solved Enigma code puzzle will unlock bonus modes. Alright. Hello. That's the result of the design. Shit. Okay. So they are actually pretty on top of finding us. Like they spotted us from, I don't even know where they are. Yeah, I don't know if that's a battle I win. Reattach, re reload, to scroll. Most wheel to drop. Okay. Jesus. Oh shit. That's not good. We are in a bit of trouble. I'm just seeing where these are mapped to on our. You know what I need is a scope real bad. Oh, he just blew himself up.
Frick, he's hard to get. Got him. Man, I could, this is going to be like... There are going to be some super intense moments here, guys. There are... <laughs> what? Hello. Gold medal. Uh, okay. So a lot of these little things are just like, um, collectibles, right? Is that what I'm seeing here? Uh, goats, we're playing on the second hardest, like right below Uber. Death Incarnate is called. Um, yeah, Colic saying, I like the game so far, I've only been here 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I've only been playing for 10 minutes and it's been almost, it's been a while actually. This is like, it's pretty cool. And I heard, a lot of people were messaging me telling me that the first hour was like really slow. And I'm like, okay. Maybe, maybe story-wise or something, but. I always feel weird walking around with these giant turret guns, but like, they're good. So these must just loop around, and then we have to go up, right? Yeah. The game goes from zero to a hundred. This is zero? <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh! Okay, well. We made it past the stomper. Getting nearer to the cliff wall directly below Death's Head's contact. So we keep hearing about Death Head's compound. Is that like a... Is that a term I'm supposed to know? Yeah, Colix, we're named Blasco. Uh, Blaskowitch, I think, is the actual, like, the full name, but people call us Blasco. Death Shed is Death... Is it Death Shed? Or Death Head? Big bad Nazi guy. Okay, so we don't know, like, who... Like, it's not, like, Hitler. It's just, like, it's, you know, some big bad Nazi guy. All right. I'm not sure how applicable, like, the overcharge health is, unless you're picking up health in a fight, really. That's the only time it's going to be beneficial. But I don't know if it makes us, like... Does it make us faster? Or is it literally just being able to have more health than, than normal? Jesus, these guys are, like... That's actually really satisfying. Death Shed was in the previous two Wolfenstein games, even if this is so yeah, okay. So that's that's I guess the thing that's important to uh, remember is that this is this was like a they called it a soft reboot, from my understanding. Uh, of the franchise. So I had like when I was really young, when like Doom and like the original Wolfenstein were a thing, I had played them, but I don't remember I, I don't- I never completed it. Like, it was just like, oh, my uncle has a computer and he's got Wolfenstein on it. Cool. Uh, 
It was like back in the Commander Keen and Doom days. And this is like an alternate history World War II, right? But there's one more cannon further up still fighting at our butt. Seriously? We started climbing the cliff wall below the castle. Hurry up and meet us at the top. So I don't even use this thing? He's not gonna like that, is he? <laughs> oh, shit. I'm out of here. Oh, hello. At least we distracted him a bit. <laughs> Run. Seriously. I want peace, says Führer. The future of humanity is at stake in a rare interview exclusively for his news or for this newspaper discussing the war effort and the values that make the German race so unique and superior our beloved Führer Führer delivers his vision for the world after the war make no mistake about it I want peace for mankind and I'm willing to fight to the death for it okay maybe he was just misunderstood maybe he's really an all right guy what are these for What? What the hell are these for? I'm trying to see, like, what these are even connected to. Weird. Weird. I don't know what that is. Do you guys know what that is? Like, sh shit. Should I try it again? I, wa I was looking for a clue, but... I mean, we only have this Fuhrer note, it seems. Oh, unless... We could try a different order. <laughs> what the hell? Oh! Ein, drei, zwei. So it's like, is it, uh, ein is one, ein, zwei, drei, I think is one, two, three? So one, three, Two? One, three, two? Holy shit. Okay. Okay. This is cool. Okay. There's like other... Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Enigma code pieces. I, I want these Enigma codes to be something awesome. I'm not convinced yet, but... Well, that's actually pretty good. It's been upgraded with the silencer. Highly efficient when trying to sneak through a hostile area. Left control to toggle the handgun silencer on or off. Oh, I, that was that other button. Man, okay. Uh... Interesting. I feel like that's the only way I would ever use this gun, so... So 
So three, and it'll have the silencer. This is cool. <laughs> I wonder if they make that for the shotguns. That's a joke. Okay, so there's neat little, uh... I'm not... Oh, jeez. Whoa! Uh oh oh! You know what this means. How come I can't, uh... There we go. Come on! There's a surprising amount of, like, areas to explore, which is pretty cool. That's, like, not what I expected at all. Can I get a translation on Ek Chung? I'm guessing that means... Danger. Caution. Oh, it means... Oh, okay, attention, caution, beware. All right. Oh. Somebody's storing ammo back here that we can't use. Do I know what the Enigma machine is? Not, uh, totally. Is that the thing that they, uh, use to, uh, like, decode Nazi messages or whatever? I'm not sure of all the details. Shit. Yes, it is? Okay, cool. Thanks, Snow. Didn't see me here. Okay, we actually got the guy on the turret, too. I haven't played a game like this in a long time, and it's, uh, kinda nice. Here's the other one they were talking about. And... Sleep. Oh man, are you kidding me? Did I know this game is heavily cut? Yeah, there's like there was all kinds of censorship um, in Germany, which sucks. But like. I don't know. I can't speak because I'm not from there. My heritage is actually German. Uh, like, great-great-grandparents or something. Um, but, like, I've never... I don't know what the culture is really like anymore. I don't know if Jatank is still in the chat, but I know he's in German, uh, Germany. 
and he shares some interesting insights. a second. Enigma code. P okay, so we're finding code pieces like... Oh! Oh, this is like... Okay, these are probably spit out into each chapter. Okay, so there's this amount of things per chapter, I think. Is that right? I wonder if that works, like, for us, if we run into one of those dogs in the future. Can we throw a grenade and will he just go for it? Come on, sir, I'll help you up! 